Alright guys, went to the bank today. We got some cool change finds. Uh, 68506508. Thought that was a cool serial number. 87999987. Pretty cool. And then this one, 72721818. So, don't know if I should keep those guys, let me know. And then, man, we have some exciting um, stuff in here. If you guys haven't seen my Instagram, go follow it. We have a roll of wheats, supposedly. The ones on the end are wheats. I think one's a 44 and one's a 45. This end is 44. And the other end is the 45, I think. Yep. So this could be a whole roll. I'm pretty excited about that. We'll save that for last. Stay tuned for that, guys. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to set these uh, notes aside for a sec. Okay. And then we have these rolls in here. They look kind of old. 1994... This one, another 1994, and pretty much all those. And there's this one, don't know. Alright, so we'll hop right into it. Oops. Um, we are, I don't know how many rolls in, but we got a dime in the roll. First off here, 1999, and I noticed that the newest coins in these Newell Office Supply, Office Product Company rolls, the newest ones are either 2001 or 2002, I think. <clears throat> so, that is crazy, so I think we stumbled upon an old cash. Pretty cool. And then I don't know what's happening with uh, these ones that are just mixed in the bunch, but I'll try to go back and uh, see if I can get more. That would be so cool if we could find another one of these. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Guys, when I first saw this, I picked it up thinking it was some kind of Ooh, some kind of error here. Oh my god. Because it looked kind of funny. But if you see the date there, that is a 1921. And look at the condition it is in. Oh my gosh. That's got to be like almost uncirculated. Like over 50. Dude. That is crazy sweet. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is an amazing coin. I don't even have words. Oh my goodness. You guys. Thing is beautiful. Look how thick the uh, rim is. It's not even worn down. Wow. You can see everything there. Original mint luster. I think I'm going to faint, guys. Oh my goodness. I picked it up because I thought it was some kind of like 70s coin. And the uh, outer rim looks really thick. So I picked it up thinking it was going to be some kind of uh, error. But... No, 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 it's way better. My goodness. Guys, that is crazy awesome. I'm so happy. Let's keep going. Alright guys, a few more rolls later. We got a dime in the roll. I'm still flipping out. Looks like it's stuck to this penny. Come on. There we go. We unstuck the 11 center. So, I, 
I don't even have words, guys. Just an insane find. Just gonna look at it again here. Up close on the camera. Wow. Unbelievable. We'll keep going. Guys, I think it might be the very next roll. This hunt is driving me crazy. Ender. I'm gonna flip it over, see if there's an ender on the other side. And if there is, we'll save it for last. It is. It is another ender. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is... <clears throat> this might be another roll. Another entire roll of wheats. Oh my goodness. We'll keep going. Alright guys, just a few rolls later. We got a wheat here. Let's see if it's some kind of crazy one. Nope, just a regular 1952 Denver. And this one looks shiny. 77D. Let's go through the rest here. Looks like that's it. Again, newest coin is 2000. We'll keep going. Well, guys, some more rolls later. This is how much we have left. Just found another dime. 1999, another one. We'll keep going. Alright guys, very next roll. We have our third wheat. 53 Denver. We'll keep going. Alright guys, we have eight rolls left. And then we have these awesome <clears throat> rolls of wheat pennies. We have... Our fourth wheat, 1956 Denver. We'll keep going. All right, guys, we're on the last two rolls here. I've saved the wheat rolls for last. Um, I'm pretty sure they're all wheats. This one's marked wheat, and then this one has two wheat enders. They both have um, wheat enders on both sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my gloves on here. It's going to be super uh, careful. Because there could be another coin like the uh, 1921. Anyways, I just want an excuse to put on these gloves because I've just had them. So we'll start with the uh, unmarked roll because I don't know if it's a whole roll. So we've got a wheat reverse on this side, and on this side we have another wheat reverse. So we'll just go ahead and dump it. Oh, and they are, looks like they are all wheats. Oh my goodness, guys. Is this a steal? Yes, we have a steal. Awesome, 43. Okay, so we'll set that up there. I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if I should sort through them one by one since there's so many. I'm shaking, guys. This is awesome. 51, 45, 49, 49. Trying to see if I can pull out any uh, old dates here. 42. Uh, 45, looking like mostly common ones, but wow, a full roll of wheat pennies. That's what it's looking like, guys, yep. I think I saw a 35, that, that's the oldest one for these. Awesome, that's my first whole roll. So we'll just uh, put that up there. We'll open this roll. This one looks older because it's got like the block and company thing on it. So this side, I remember there was a 45 ender and a 44 ender. This side is the 45 ender. And the other side is the 44. I'm not going to open it because I already showed you guys, but... Let's go ahead and dump it. This one looks old. No, just a 41. Thirty-eight. 
37. This is crazy. <laughs> no, there's a memorial. It's not a four roll. Let's see what year the memorial is that spoiled this all. Dang you, 59. <laughs> my, my whole roll of wheats was spoiled by a 59. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I'm going to I'm just going to take the gloves off cuz it's going to it's hard to pick the coins up. Looks like we have the 50 a 55 plane here. I see some doubling. It's uh poor man's. Let's see there. Just a little bit of doubling there. Poor man's. They're pretty common. But, um, I'm gonna get this all sorted out, guys. This is pretty awesome. And, uh, I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, as we found, we're going to start up here with the uncirculated. So we have a 1999, a bunch of 80s copper, three dimes, it's an extra tw uh, 27 cents. And the San Francisco's got a 74, 72, and three seventy ones. Down here for the wheats, we have 103. <laughs> um, we would have 104. But one of them is a memorial, 1959. We got a 258, uh, 457 Denver's, three 456 Denver's, 355 no 255 355 Denver's, 55 plane 254 Denver's, looks like 553 Denver's, 452 Denver's. 251 Denver's, 50 Denver, 50 Plain, 49 Denver. We've got 548 Denver's, 48 Plain. We've got 446 uh, Plains and 346 Denver's. Looks like we've got 245 Denver's, bunch of 45 Plains and a 45 S. We have um, some 44 Denver's. Don't want to count how many. And a bunch of 44 planes and two 44 S's. We got one 43 plane. We don't see uh, many 43s. Usually it's, it goes from 42 to 44, but um, we got one steely. It's plain, but I'll take it. We have three 42s, no, four 42 Denvers, um, or two 42 Denvers, four 42 planes getting awfully confused. 541 planes, 541 Denvers, 440s, 4 or 140s, 39, th uh, 237s, 35s. is the oldest for the uh, two rolls. Crazy hunt, my first ever two rolls. We're going to call it two rolls, even though that one memorial. Um... Down here, for the other rolls, we found three wheats in all of the uh, other $24. 56 Denver, 53 Denver, and 52 Denver. And then we have the gem of the whole, uh, the whole hunt, the star of the show. This um, almost uncirculated slash uncirculated brown 1921. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful coin. I looked it up, and it's worth 50 to $75 in a PCGS slab. So I might get that slabbed. It's in very nice shape there. It's the best, uh, earliest coin I found. Earliest, best coin. Before this, I think it was the uh, 1930s. Like, 1939 or something. So, really beautiful, beautiful coin. And you can still see some of the red peeking through behind the date there and in the in the uh, shadows of the high area parts of the coin. But, um, sorry, someone's calling me. But, yeah, 
awesome hunt today. Found two entire rolls and some other ones and this beautiful gem. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.